So, can you remember when and where you were born? Obviously you can remember when, but can you remember where? Yeah, it was at Port Inter in Guernsey, yeah. the Channel Islands. Well, I don't remember living there, but I have met the people that used to live next door to us when I was born at Port Inter. You were born at home then? Well, in a taxi on the way to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you were born, did they then take your mum to the hospital after you were born? Yeah. And you obviously all? Yeah. They didn't just turn around and go back home again? No. No. And then my mum had appendicitis and she had to stay in hospital for 10 weeks because her stomach just wouldn't mend. No. So I had to be in the home because she didn't want her mum to mind me because Granny Barty would be wild. And if Granny Barty minded me, Granny Pike would be wild. I see. So I'd stay in the home. Right. <laughs> and nobody's child. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. But I have told my mum memories of when she used to take us to, I was a baby, and she used to take me to Alderney to see her sister, who was the only nurse on Alderney. And her husband, my uncle Bill, was the only policeman on Alderney. And my mum used to take us over there to have a, a day or a couple of days break with her sister. And I t used to tell my mum, I remember when they used to take the drawer out of the big chest of drawers and put all the clothes, blankets and things on a chair and put a pillow in there and I used to sleep in there. <laughs> and my mum said she can hardly believe <clears throat> that I remember that. But it, yes, it was perfectly true. That is what they did. You can remember that. Yeah. Um, to get then from Guernsey to Alderney, was it a passenger boat or did you hitch a ride with someone? No, or? I think uh, anything that was, she could go on the cheap, she'd go because sometimes she said she used to sit on a coffin. All right. <laughs> so it was different in them days, see. Yes. Hey. Yes. Was but there like a regular passenger service between? I should think so. Yeah. I should think so. But I suppose if you knew a fisherman or... Whoever else that was going there, you could yeah. get a lift or whatever yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. Never felt very far from the sea. Um, no, no, you're never very far. But no. um, yeah, that's one of my first memories. And then again, I remembered where her mother lived, and I used to tell my mum about her mum, and we used to go and have a cup of tea. And she used to have that lovely Royal Albert Charney tea service with the hot water jug and milk jug and sugar bowl. Everything was so so. We weren't allowed to talk, we had to sit and be quiet. <laughs> what was your mum's mum's name? Kathleen. And then. <clears throat> was she the one that was Catholic? Yeah. And she changed to Protestant? Yeah because of all the troubles in Ireland. But <clears throat> she had, an, her and her husband had the job of the sheriff and warder of the prison. On Alderney? No, in Guernsey. In Guernsey. And we used to go to the prison and play in the yard and um, Bunty and Victor and Sonny and Ronnie, that's like cousins would make a, a go-kart and drive us round and round in the prison yard. Huh. We used to have fun. Did you see prisoners? No, but we used to see them taking the porridge and different things for them, for their food. And um, they, we'd hear them saying so-and-so had saw pink elephants last night. We used to think well, it was funny because we haven't seen them. Hey. Uh, uh. Why did they say they'd seen pink elephants? Well, because if they had too much to drink. Oh, I see. They were funny, weren't they? Right, OK. But then, <clears throat> one of my last memories of my granny, Pike, was when my mum took me to town and bought me some new shoes and took me to the prison to see her. Did she work right up until she was quite old then? No, I think they took her to the prison you know, to look after her. Oh, I see, right. Her, her son and wife. 
which was Lizzie and Elby. Oh, so they took over from... Yeah, they took over from Granny Pike. I see. And um, like I said, my mum bought me some new shoes and took me to see Granny Pike in bed. Of course, she was sat up in bed. And I don't know whether she'd had a stroke. I think it was about December the 13th she died. And that's the last recollections I had of her, you know. Didn't used to see a lot of her, really. But, um... Do you know why that was? Well, I suppose it was a long way to town. For us little kids to walk all there and walk back. Yeah. But we used to walk, I suppose, to the um, cemetery every Sunday, which wasn't far from the prison, believe it or not. Well, after she died? In the Fuller Cemetery. Your mum would go and visit her grave? Mm. Mm. Can you remember her accent? Your granny. Yeah, Did she speak seemed, with an Irish accent. I don't think so. No. So she'd obviously left a long time before. Oh yeah. Yeah. What about her husband? Can you remember him? No. Not at all. Hardly. <coughs> Just about. Um, he was like Katie Pike's dad because they were brothers. I see. That's why Katie Pike's mum married her cousin. All oh, right. But. Uh, no, I don't really remember a lot of the prison thing. Time goes up by so quickly, doesn't it? So, your grandparents were, what would they be called, like prison governor or...? Yeah. Yeah. The governess. Yeah. And the sheriff of the prison. Mm. Mm. And, um, I suppose once they took over, you see, we still used to go down there and play. Yeah. To the prison. Mm. Sounds funny to say that, doesn't it? Do you know what happened to them during the war? Yeah, um, we all got evacuated. But what happened to your your mum's mum and dad? Did they stay there? My mum's mum died just before the war. Oh, she died before the war? Yeah. And he died a few years before that. Oh, I see, I see. See? Mm. But, um... What about your, um, your dad's mum and dad? Yeah, we used to see a bit more of them. And Granny Barty used to always make our Christmas puddings and put mine the stones because it was six pennies, which was a lot of money in them days, and silver threepenny bits. And um, Granddad Barty used to see us, and he always walked around with like a little cream jacket on and his Panama hat and his stick under his arm. He always gave us a sixpence if he saw us, which was a lot of money to us. What could you buy with sixpence? Oh, I don't know. We had ever such a lot of things, Roy. You could buy a lucky dip for Hayden, Blackjacks and all sorts of things that you don't get now. Eight gobstoppers for a penny. Hey. Right. <laughs>